point where i'm saying is like basically even in ai what we do is we so when you're listening the music yeah so uh, basically we're teaching stuff right it's like a kid learning mm. right so if you want to with chat gpt for example mm. if you, ultimately they are very powerful they can read you know almost get to 80 90% of what a human does i'm seeing like so for example if a lawyer so how mm. does somebody become a great lawyer mm. right okay everybody goes to a law school mm. right but somebody becomes awesome mm. and somebody doesn't become awesome so mm. if you really look at it the people who become awesome are not because they're extra intelligent or mm. something mm. a lot of it is the scenarios of experience of different cases that you go so mm. you go to a law good law practice and you find a whole variety of cases mm. over a period of time to your point your brain is mm. recording the scenarios right so how does it record the scenario is the interesting thing mm. right so basically what is happening is everything that we do we whatever you read and everything is finally even that's exactly what is happening in ai ai we do exact same thing we convert these things called encodings mm. so basically what happens is you think about an n dimensional space mm. okay like so you t- you read umbrella as a word mm. right so umbrella as a word has different meanings to it so mm. umbrella immediately somebody says rain is the first thing that's coming closer mm. but in insurance if you say umbrella it is means umbrella coverage right mm. so how does your brain know based on a context that you're taught not talking about rain versus you're talking about insurance right mm. so how it happens is the word umbrella when you read or something whenever you read anything mm. the brain converts it into an encoding okay and encoding is nothing but a mathematical representation in an n dimensional space mm. Okay so imagine like this is three dimensional mm. like an n dimensional space <coughs> you this is coordinate it's like mm. geo coordinate your mm. gps does okay this is the location right mm. longitude latitude so similar to that you record in an n dimensional space so what happens is the word umbrella when you represent the, there are there is a word of insurance there is a word of rain mm. how close the more brain learns it stores those relationships of all of these things in an n dimensional space in your brain as an encoding and that's what is stored in neurons <clears throat> right because your brain has trillions of neurons that's right so, so so the <clears throat> whole thing is when you hear about umbrella mm. brain is a fast search mm. it's like google mm. so what it does is it looks at a what they call it as a mathematical euclidean distance between the context of what you're talking and that particular thing and retrieves that information for you with okay this guy is talking about insurance so so what chat gpt and all does is pretty much you are le- teaching a system about like so for example if you teach all the cases that has gone to the supreme court and mm. all lower courts district court state court and everything mm. and you teach train and train and train <clears throat> and it stores in that trillions of euclidean and n dimensional space all these information just like how our human brain sits and read and read and read and read and end up as something mm. so essentially the point what i am telling is when you store these things the efficiency in which it stored matters without a resistance and mm. that's music whatever you do the distractions when you learn those are all the resistance so it's not able to store it in the right place right so so the point where i'm going towards is that is what i was telling him at the end of the day that's exactly how human brain works and this all these things are mimicking that but when you mimic you need to know how the brain works hmm and, and so uh, how is that is affecting them through the kids like when yeah, they are yeah so basically it's a, it's the same thing so it's a distraction to the it kids it is a bit distraction so um, listening uh, but, but to the music but the thing is you invoke right but like soothing music to your point hmm. it, it invokes because at the end of the day what does how does brain communicate hmm. neurotransmitters hmm. right your electrical signals and neurotransmitters right your serotonin dopamine this like all these things like have to balance because it's human emotions are mm. there right you need to know touch and feel mm. so that's why i was telling him these things are all kind of related to how science works and but but the thing is like you know that is why i was telling him like all these music but the thing is soothing music has a different meaning because it turns your uh, other thing good mood so there are two systems like the the <laughs> chart is there like that uh, that um, yesterday's vertebra chart you remember nervous that system, mm-hmm. yeah. the nervous system so there is a there is a uh, the part of the nervous system central nervous system uh, it has the autonomic nervous system then we are going to talk about two different uh, parts of it is like 
sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. So the parasympathetic is the rest of the body, like relaxation, resting, healing, rejuvenating, that is your para. Whereas the sympathetic and soothing, okay? So para is all about soothing, calming, nourishing. Whereas the sympathetic is all about sudden, fast, quick, fight and flight. It's like a uh, kind of sudden and fast. It's like yeah. survival mode system, all the time fighting like that. So when you are listening, that variations of music can impact these two. Yeah. So some it's music body, brain is not multitasking. It's yeah. a unique, it's a single tasking machine. I it... actually we created it as a multitask Correct. for our convenience. Yeah. There is no limit to the brain. But at a proper age, proper sanskaras, proper yeah. this, you need to see in a just for you guys to understand, uh, to make you understand the point. Like in today's world, like previously when we were growing, we didn't even know what marriage means, what sex means, what what does it mean, like that. But now if you see a third grader to second grader also know everything. Without the development of the brain, without understanding the meaning and depth of it, the kids knows everything. Yeah. The other thing is it can only multitask when you have, when you are retrieving information that you have learned. Yes. But when you that learn, a, it cannot multitask. When it's actually noise that is going into the system. Yeah. So th there is a there is a differentiation. What is knowledge? Okay. Knowledge is one thing. What is wisdom? That is very important. Got it? We all go through the knowledge through the college, <coughs> through the student as a student. You are a student, right? So, this is knowledge. Everybody has a knowledge. Everybody will get a knowledge. But the wisdom comes with the experience or with the guidance or with the um, uh, experiences, like the way he mm. said. It's garbage in garbage out. Yeah, okay. Right? First yes. time you learn, yes. you'll get. Yeah. So, too much info. Sometimes it is like information is different. Okay, we gather information, bunch of the information. What is social media? Right? Like so this. funny you mentioned. So, so I was in a meeting three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I was in, I mean, I, I work for a company called Travelers. So I lead the artificial intelligence and those kind of spaces, right? So we had a meeting and we were, we the guest was Eric Schmidt, who was Google CEO. Okay. Right for 20 years, 25 mm. years. Mm. So he just retired. So we were really talking about the whole uh, challenge, you know, the, the future, right? What's the future prediction of the future? Because he's one of the noble guys, right? Mm. I mean, he was the CEO of Google, mm. right? So the interesting thing we were all talking about was the biggest challenge right now is the fact that so, so with AI coming in, the biggest thing was we need to we need to manage this because if we don't manage this, the machine will take over. The man scenario is not that far. It, it is not because if you ask ChatGPT, it will give you an answer mm -hmm. for sure, right? Then the question that comes up is how far you want to take this to the level of humanity. Mm -hmm. That is, that it, it is, it is if because it can impact social justice. It can impact many things. So Absolutely. The, so it is already part, happening. What, so the thing what we were talking was where government is right now, now government is all these European governments and all are now aggressively go, going, looking at it, right? Mm. Right, right. In terms of how to manage this. Mm. Because the biggest mistake we did was we didn't manage social media. Right. So because nobody thought, because it's the first learning that nobody thought that social media will evolve into this. Mm. And so the scenario is social media has, <coughs> because you look at it, forget about what our, it's happening to our kids. Mm. That is one part of mm. it. What is happening in the geopolitical system around hatred in communities? Like mm. you look at it in India when we grew yeah. up. Yeah. 
like i am a christian hmm. I, like i was telling you i studied hmm. in a, a vedanta school, school. Huh. i i never thought that i am actually learning somebody else's religion because that was never the thought there because there no. was no communal thinking there yeah but now yeah if you look at it we all have our communal thinking because that is, because what happens in social media you learn about one thing you watch two things then that's what it's going to feed you exactly right so yes. even if you want it or not you yes. think that that is the world around you yes because you get fed with that mm. so the point is we couldn't manage the social media yes. for example that hey if somebody watches this thing mm. don't social profile the person and only feed those information back to the person because then you are actually pretty much uh, what do mm. we call like uh, hypnotizing the person and like absolutely. kind of converting yeah. the person to a different mindset absolutely and that is already happening yeah it, so it the is problem is it couldn't happening. be it, it was in control the regulations weren't in place right not that it's bad it has a lot of good aspect to it but it no, has a lot but, of unmanaged so that is why like like if you really look at it because mm-hmm. now with even um, apple stopped blocking all the cookie tracking private browsing all mm-hmm. of these things have mm-hmm. come in part of it is because people are profiling you now even the ads they say like oh, mm-hmm. i mean at the end of the day all mm-hmm. these google youtubes and facebooks mm-hmm. of the world are all monopolizing mm-hmm. the stuff and then mm-hmm. they'll all mm-hmm. kind of really do but at the end of the day the point here is a lot of people's mind is shifting inherently without even them knowing because mm. so for example one of the keynotes we talked about was how in a us political level uh, the like so for example in us there is democrats and uh, mm. republican right so even though people were rival there was a cordial relationship <laughs> but if you really look at now mm. it is even polarized than religion Mm. so republicans hate democrat mm. social right? media It's because of social media <laughs> because what happens is you are fed with those info because if you like two democratic videos mm. then you are actually fed with that and over mm. a period of after watching 10 new media mm. because you are not being fed with what is npr news anymore exactly. you are being fed with the news what you watch in instagram reminders also correct repetition so, so, so anyway, the point is yeah. basically that's what i was telling him like the way yeah. i mean the, so so we are going to talk about it like you know let's do some of the rules for the body how about that we'll talk about the routines of, mm-hmm. okay the routines is like um <coughs> did you eat something when you came from the school no no you ate 